I still remember one of the story that uh, we tried to help one of the family. They are homeless. They are just uh, sat uh, beside the bridge here in town. And when we visited them, we asked them, what happened to you? They just said that we are here because no one trying to help them. So I said, don't you know that there are probably Islamic religious culture and Malika Sim who are trying to able to help you? They, they, they replied that we don't know anything about that. So that's really, really makes sense for it, for me. And we, that's why we, we try to advertise uh, any of uh, uh, the community who, who, who have the asnaf, this insight of the community, have to tell us so that we can, we can help them. So that is one of the stories that um, I still remember that uh, we, are, we are still not to uh, expand our uh, service so then the, the needy didn't know about that. I'm the 18th Chief Executive Officer of Perlis Islamic Religious Council and Malay Custom. We call it Ma'ibs in Malay, Majlis Agama Islam, and Adat Isti Adat Melayu Perlis. So, uh, in English, we call it Perlis Islamic Religious Council and Malay Custom. I'm the acting CEO of the, the council. So, uh, my position is... Uh, I have to uh, uh, advise for the uh, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Perlis, which is he is the head of the organization as well. Yeah. And uh, His Royal Highness is, uh, we call it a young Dipertur in Malay, okay. uh, English, the chairman of the council. We do have our, what we call uh, members or ESCO members. Uh, which include the Muslim scholars and also the the management, the top management of the state. So uh, we advisory uh, to His Highness, His Royal Highness, the, the ruler of Perlis itself, in uh, Islamic management and also in the custom, the Malay custom here in, in the state. <laughs> We do an advisory also uh, in collecting and distributing zakat to the receivers. We do collect zakat from the uh, payer, and the payer give us give the zakat to us, and we uh, distribute it uh, to the uh, receivers, or we call it asnaf. We have eight of asnaf, or eight different type of asnaf. <laughs> We set up two counters here. The first one is uh, uh, to receive zakat uh, donation, and the another one is to distribute zakat to the asna. Daily about uh, fifty to seventy of asna will come here every day. I do a check to the form. is about. 50 or 60 forms per day and it's considered about 2,500 vouchers have been revealed every month. We are not just advertised to collect zakat, it's not just that, but we are also advertised in, in every single um, ways in here in Perlis. We also advertise to the asnaf and also the villagers if you have asnaf in your members or in your community, please tell us and we will go and give them the donation. This is what we're trying to do. Oh, my God. Why are you guys so tall? You know why black is beautiful? What color is Kaaba? See, 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 see. Uh, uh, I knew the grandfather. Uh, I knew the father. 
All right, and uh, uh, I was around when he was teeny weeny little beautiful baby. All right, so that was how uh, uh, I came to the family. I'm uh, been a family friend since then. One of the guests, can you hear me? Yes. I say bad things about you. I say bad things about you. All right, honored guests, thank you for coming. These honored guests, my friends, thank you for coming. So the grandfather is also known to be people's friend. All right, so this uh, concept of being close to the public was basically set up by the grandfather, by the late grandfather. And his father too. His father and mother, the family, has been very, very close, has been, I would say, people-friendly uh, family. And has been there throughout. I think this is a classic example of a grandfather uh, teaches the father and the father teaches the son, uh, you know, and the son perhaps would teach the grandson. So this is a very classic example. The entire family that I know has been very public friendly from the late, from the late uh, Raja, from the late Tuanku. We don't know whether Rambo is excellent or not. We follow his philosophy. His philosophy is search and destroy. What we do is search and give. So the team for the last seven years, we go about looking for us now, giving and giving and giving what we have got. So you are going to experience this? Oh, it started seven years, basically seven, eight years ago. I cycle a lot, right? Because I cycle a lot, I'm reasonably close to the family. And then one day, uh, Tonko said, uh, could you find, uh, uh, could we go for a ride? Uh, I w me and my daughters are going to ride. So we chose a seven kilometer ride. So it started from there. Started off riding as a uh, recreational activity. Then suddenly the add-on starts to come in. We are trying to think what what should we do? So just add a value added for, for the, the Muslim community here in Perlis. So the companies itself said that why not? We we we, are, we go to the villages and we also give the donation from the Zakat Fund. So that this add-on add kept on coming in and coming in, it grew wider and wider. And then the participants of the uh, group includes uh, his department. Uh, every time Tonku rides out, we have, got, we, have, we have got to send in the police to make sure the routes are secure, etc. Then we have got this uh, automatically add-on that police has gone to the rural area. So that was how it, it developed for the last seven years. He has got a group of permanent riders. Now, these are people who like to ride. And uh, every time he said, let's go for a ride, this group will come. 
When the other group started to come in, heads of department will write, hospital staff would write, write the police instead of sending the policemen for surveying, police bosses started to write. This house costs something like 35,000 Malaysian ringgit. It's given free for the Asnaf who requires. So we, uh, we have something like 800? 800 per eight, eight, no, 800 houses so far. Wow. Right? Okay. They're given free. Some is just one bedroom, some two bedrooms, some three bedrooms. How many people have three bedrooms? Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asked us to do um, some studies. What, sh what, what type of uh, donation that we have? to give. So we already identified. The first one is we give this Zakat fund uh, 600 ringgit Malaysia to the all receivers. And the second one is uh, we bring also, we call it Kids Maik Peduli. It's from the Fidyah fund. Those who are not uh, able to fasting, so they give the Fidyah. So we give it uh, uh, such rice and also the sauces and also and so on. What's inside? The item for the household item. Such as? Such as sugar, flour, coffee, cooking oil, and so on. MashaAllah. So we give it uh, all of this donation to the Asnaf. Now it's not just the very added for the cycle session, but it's now the primary things that we do during our cycle session. So a lot of people who ever visited Tanku would actually would experience the ride because it's about the best way to show what we are in its raw rural nature. By virtue that police is not uh, city-like, right? Uh, we have the greens to show, and this ride went on further when Kuala Lumpur runs a big race. All right, a big, a, a big run. They would write to Tonko and say, would you and your team like to ride with us? Tonko would say yes, so the team would go to Putra Putrajaya to ride. And then when uh, Tonko visited uh, Indonesia, Medan, they say, uh, would you like to ride? Yeah, we, we rode Medan. Uh, in Phuket, we have ridden in Phuket. So it, is, it becomes part and parcel of him, his identity. The other thing is, as we cycle, every time we cycle, it's a protocol thing that a doctor should follow. Uh, Tuanku, all right? It is uh, required by law. So every time Tuanku rides, we have got a government doctor following Tuanku. We've got two private doctors who love riding. All right, would follow. So with these doctors following, we visit uh, sick people, and that's when the doctors came in and look at them and say, okay, I'm going to send my ambulance, I'm going to send uh, uh, my officers to do a follow-up. We, we are also go and seek them. We help them in the night, in the midnight. We don't mind because that is our responsibility. And even last night, um, uh, one of my, uh, my friends texted me and told me that there are one asnaf in the hospital. I have to communicate with uh, uh, the head of hospital. So we do and we, 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 we visit them and we give the donation at night. Because we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us what we do 
and when Asnaf need the, the help from us. Asnaf is just like our family. No. We are doing also the data. We, we do write the data. So how about the Asnaf? Who is, it, who is in the house? Uh, who is the head of the, 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 the Asnaf? And which one of the Asnaf that uh, we must give a priority? priority. And we, we are now collecting the data. And we are now trying to hire uh, about 10 uh, officers to do the uh, uh, study, what type of uh, donation that we still didn't cover. Tak mau dia bagi ya. Ikit hari lagi dia bagi. By the way, the provisional diagnosis mainly sinai cataract lah, bilateral. So need for urgent your feet sudu sudu fix ya. The implantation, the new lens for his eyes. Ah, dia pi buat semua jadi dah. Kena hari nak pergi tu demam kuat. Lepas tu tak pergi pula? Tak pergi. Tapi kita okey. Condition in view of heavy smoker. So if proceed with surgery, then all this should be sold out. So he's going to have surgery? Yeah, of course, because of his eyes. Who's going to pay for the surgery? Many were welfare for welfare association, most mainly. We will arrange that in the hospital because we got the, the donor. I mean, saya ni nampak tak mana? Tak nampak, saya nampak tak tak uh, Nampak bentuk Nampak oh. besar ke nampak kecil? Nampak besar ke besar orang? Nampak orang lah Tapi naik wagyu Saya minta maaf Banyak-banyak lah Duduk, duduk saya Ni saya bawa kawan daripada Amerika ada Daripada Scotland ada Daripada Ghana ada Selamat datang ke Malaysia Welcome to Malaysia, I said I said I brought friends from US Scotland Ya Tak dapat nak melihat Tak apa lah Dua orang Dua Dua Pung Dia sakit Sakit Tiga bulan dia penat Pergi hospital tu kali Allah buat sebab Dua buat lah Asma Asma For the last three months already Went to hospital But they couldn't find anything So doctor sent her back Now we like to call upon His highness Raja Muda Pelis To deliver Nothing Majlega Mok Now we like to call upon Brother Norman Han To deliver the Ma'ef Pedoli Kip To Tak nampak Tak nampak Ni ada hadiah lagi ni Daripada dia Ada ni Barang-barang dapur Tak ada barang-barang dapur Tolong Tolong so right now the emptying of this water that's gathered here, stagnant water, um, as they were explaining to us that the mosquitoes, larvae and then pupae and then eventually adult mosquitoes grow out of these situations and obviously the danger of malaria is very acute. So whenever they come to a place like this, they, they find water that's gathered like this, they will empty it out. Um, after checking first, it's not some water that they were storing up or keeping fish. He said the mosquitoes only need a spoonful of water to... to... quite comprehensive and the checks that they do. We'll bring in, uh, after this, we'll come in with our levicide and we'll spray. What were you saying about the eggs? That the huh? eggs can last? Okay, the, the eggs. supports the scrub? Because, because we are now destroying the, the larvae. What we should do is we should scrub. The place is scrub. So as the eggs will be killed too. Mm. And 
now we are just throwing away the larvae, the pupas, everything. Mm. Okay. What I will do next is I will come with my guys. We'll add in some uh, insecticide. The other one is we'll spray. We can't just go everywhere. We can go everywhere. We will use spray. Spray with insecticide. So you said even the eggs can last without water yeah, for three months. Yeah, the, the, the eggs can last without water for three months. Uh, the son has not come back for one week already. Right. So the husband will ride the motorcycle and she will say, okay, left, right, left, right. Because oh my God. She, he, he could he see only see. the, to oh. go to the local grocery shop. That is, that's what he was that is very cool and very horrible yeah. at the same time. You want to see? No! <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you quite honestly, it's been pretty exhausting. And to think that these people do this voluntarily more than a hundred times a year, it's pretty incredible. And that too, led by some of the wealthiest people in this society and professionals. Very, very inspiring, subhanAllah. They're helping people that really, if they didn't come, I don't know who would ask for them, who would care for them. This person we're visiting right now is blind. He used to do woodwork and build tools for, you know, rakes and shovels and things. And he hasn't been able to do that for two years. And subhanAllah, now he's getting a visit from the Sultan of, you know, of Perlis, the Crown Prince. And, you know, all of these people are here just to honor him and to, to help him out. It's, it's really something beautiful. May Allah accept this from them and may Allah inspire this effort here to get other people to do similar things around the world. No, no. Oh, Brother Norman should deliver the, the Ma'e Puduli kit. As I mentioned, those are a household items for the consumption of the family and, and, so, and the other parties also. No? To present this uh, PDF rice. <laughs> Now we are doing checking blood pressure for this old lady. So the blood pressure is about under 20 over 80. 50 over 90. Uh, it's normal blood pressure. This old age. This This is a 76 years old lady uh, who suffered quite a severe osteoporosis uh, but otherwise she is okay. There is no other uh, what do you call disease that we detected from her. Clinically, yeah, she's fine. Uh, systemically as well. Uh, also BP uh, about at her age all normal about 150 over 90 and also the heart uh, heart uh, no normal as well okay everything mm -hmm. so far is good for at, at her age yeah thank you anything else you want to add I su actually i suggest her for continuing follow up maybe annually or six monthly mm, yeah how would she do that how would she follow up follow up by blood, any blood investigation as well so like you guys would come here or she would go there we 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 should we should come up to the paramedic mm. Alright. Humbling, <laughs> mashallah. Been ordered by the press to pick up rubbish. This is great. Yeah.
What kind of person of authority, mashallah, would order the people to, mashallah, pick up rubbish? That's a great sign, mashallah, humility. That's a sign of humility, mashallah. I mean, being that he comes out to the people and then orders everybody to pick up rubbish in front of them, you know, very unfortunate situation. So we would pick up some of the rubbish and make sure that there's a sign of cleanliness, mashallah, and a sign of care, and a sign of, uh, mashallah, it's really a sign of humility that he would come out here in his own accord and to come personally to see the people and then to pick up some of the trash here in front of him to show that we care about you and that we have our eye on you. You know, we love you, mashallah. I'm floored. I mean, I see her and I see my own grandmother. When people live in this state, subhanAllah, and there are people willing to help. I'm just overwhelmed. And to, like the most valuable thing is in places where nobody puts any value. This old mother of ours, I asked her to make dua for us and she made such beautiful, sincere dua. I just see it on her face. This whole trip is worth it. This is the, this is, this is the VIP of the trip. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. The question that uh, went around in Tonku's mind, quite often Tonku talked to us about this. Uh, would this right search and give continue from him, started with him, and this sort of uh, uh, procedure would continue with his sons? Where is that going to lead to? Right, so that's a very big question. For me and my team, we are thinking that only by the education that can change them is not just to become to change their status from the asnaf to become the payer of zakat by the education. We actually uh, set up one of we call it uh, Taman Desa Asnaf. It's a asnaf community center here in in Perlis. We built uh, five, 50, 50 houses. We searched 50 uh, asnaf, give them the work, give them salaries, and we also give the education for the kids. There are now, alhamdulillah, inshallah, we, we're trying to make them a pay of the zakat. So that, that's how we have to think more and more, how to make them, it's not just become an we call it uh, to seek the zakat help, but they have to. We have to change them to become the payer of zakat. This is the our challenge. It's a very, very big challenge for us. Currently, we are still writing. We are still finding. We are still writing. Uh, we still we find new 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 asnafs every time we write. But should it continue in this way or not? That is a very interesting question. Right, theoretically, it should not. All right, we should be looking at today, you are a receiver. Next 10 years, you're a giver. We should be, we hope to achieve that sort of status. The, the hadith from the Prophet said, uh, you, you get it, you get zakat from rich men, from your, your, your community. And we have to return. The Prophet said, written. What to do? You have to return it. It's not you have to distribute it, but you have to return it. So every single of the collection, we have to return it. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, that you cannot achieve bir until you spend what you love. So everybody, I, as I was said before that, in this world, we do everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With our hearts, we love to do it because this responsibility is coming from our God. 
because of that, if you know that something available for yourself coming from the, your God, so you will try to do your best. So everybody is thinking about that. Inshallah, you, myself, and everybody in this world. Once you know any responsible that responsibility given by God to you, any duty, any uh, task given by God to you, you have to do it with your heart full of love to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You know what's so beautiful is that we're riding in this um, environment and we're seeing all these ayat of Allah. And through that, we're reflecting on the Creator. But then we arrive at one of these houses and we find Allah here, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because I'm reminded of the Hadith Qudsi, where Allah Azzawajal would say to the servant, I was unwell and you didn't visit me. And the servant will ask, Ya Allah, you are the Lord of the worlds. How, how could you be sick and how can I visit you? And the response is that one of my servants was unwell and you didn't visit that servant. It's a humbling experience to be able to come to see Allah's signs and to be in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by, by helping some of his servants. So we ask Allah to accept. Allah repeatedly mentions in Quran Aqimu Salata wa Aat al Zakat. And we get to see Aqimu Salah all the time. We don't get to see Aat al Zakat. So today I got to experience a little bit of Aat al Zakat. You know, the, the vast majority of you, if not all of you, are volunteers doing this. Uh, and that's an incredible, incredible thing. Uh, these are people that if you didn't go, nobody would ask about them. And their du'as are more powerful than any other treasure in this world. It's really priceless. It's, it's just truly, truly priceless to earn the du'a of the miskeen, to, to earn the du'a of the da'if, of the marid. You know, these are the people that maybe are, uh, all of our sins will be gone because of their du'as. And that's our hope. And I hope that today, was, today counts for all of us towards that. You know, I have been in different societies and different circles around the world and um, really I learned something about leadership when I was here. Uh, accessibility, how accessible a leader can be. You know, we don't think of royalty in this way. It's unimaginable to think of royalty in this way. This is an unusual example, I would argue, in the entire world. And it's something the world should see. You know, what amazing work Tonko is doing, but all of you around, you know, besides him, are doing as a team, and what you're doing in this society, you know, this place is relatively unknown. Malaysia is known, per least is not very well known. It's the, it's the state with the biggest heart, I can tell you that. And it is, and uh, I think what's happening here is bigger than what's happening anywhere else I've ever gone. And we pray that it will bring a lot of khair to Perlis, and it will also bring a lot of khair to the ummah around the world. Maybe people around the world will be inspired by you, and they will start doing similar things, and you will get the ajr for people you've never met. Inshallah. Barakallahu li wa alaikum 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 wa